Have you ever had joint pains after fever that just won't go away? It could be something else other than viral fever. So today, let's talk about chikungunya, a virus that has been spreading in Asia and causing a lot of long-term complications. Hello guys, I am Dr. Navneet Aroda, the fever doctor, and today I'll explain this infection in simple words to all of you. Chikungunya, a viral infection that spreads through the bite of a female mosquito, the same mosquito that spreads dengue. Identified in 1953, this viral infection is now seen in more than 60 countries, especially in India, China, and Southeast Asian countries. It doesn't just give you fever, it can affect your joints, muscles, stomach, and your brain. You may suddenly develop high fever, eye irritation, a skin rash and most importantly severe joint pains. These joint pains do not respond well to regular painkillers and can affect both small joints that is the joints of fingers and toes as well as larger joints like the knee and the shoulder. People with diabetes, heart or kidney disease or rheumatoid arthritis may have worse joint pains. People above 45 years or high viral load in their blood are more likely to have long-lasting joint pains. Around 20% patients even experience nerve symptoms like tingling, numbness or itching. Pain can last for more than 3 months in up to 78% of the patients. In some severe cases, the joint pains are reported up to 20 months post-infection. So even if the fever goes, the joint pains can stay and really affect your day-to-day -day life. The best test in the first week is the PCR testing. However, after the fifth day of infection, chikungunya antibodies, the IgM antibody, comes positive and is a very reliable test. Currently, there are no specific antivirals against chikungunya, but the good news is that the symptoms can be managed. In the first three weeks of illness, most people improve just with paracetamol of maximum of 4 grams of daily dosing. Hydration with 2-3 to three liters of water and plenty of rest. Medications like Ibrufen, Naproxen or Diclofenac should be avoided and only be given until dengue is ruled out. If joint pains last for more than 3 months, corticosteroids are used in a dosing for 5-15 to 15 days. Low potency opioids like Tremidol and Codeine are also helpful in relieving the joint pains. Long-term joint pains can be controlled with hydroxychloroquine and methotrexate. Chikungunya is not life-threatening in most of the cases, but it can affect your quality of life, especially due to severe joint pains. That is the reason early care and prevention of mosquito bites is very important. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to The Fever Doctor for more simplified and science back information. Do share this video to spread awareness. Stay safe and stay informed.